and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. The title of our program today, Science Says mm. Shoulder Pain. I'm sorry, Shoulder Impingement, impingement. Pain significantly reduced, reduced with home exercises. I sorry about that. Reduced with home exercises. We Boy, gotta get that speech there. Really messed going. up that one, didn't I, Brad? So all right, well, what are we gonna talk about? Well, Bob, as as you and I know as physical therapists, uh, we really think that we can show you exercises to improve and your ailments, particularly your shoulder problems. So I wanted to look it up and figure out if science supports that. So I, I found this article and they took we, do we want to get into this? But it really shows some interesting results. But We will get into this. Yes. I want to just say right now, Brad, oh. though, I think shoulder impingement is very predominant uh, yeah. among our patients. Right. Mm -hmm. You may not even realize you have an impingement going on. Sure. And that, that's playing into, I mean, you might have bursitis, but right. that may be caused by impingement. There you go. You might have tendonitis. That may be caused by impingement. You may have a, a tear. I think this is the part where people say we're babbling on. Okay. <laughs> By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, you want to join us on our social media channels because if you're tired of us babbling, you can actually go to Instagram oh, yes. and Twitter. We have a shorter version of this. It's like a 60-second version. But we're also always giving something away. So yes. then you want to go to bobandbrad.com, mm -hmm. go to the giveaway section, or to Bob and Brad on Facebook. It's pinned to the top of the page. We are giving away, this ring is really cool. You want to come on over here? Yeah, this is the Renfo Back and Neck Massager. Awesome. This thing, it works. I mean, you can see, I don't know if you can, you can see this one, but I don't know if you can see this one. This one's working right now, yeah, too. Right there. But this will, you know, this thing will massage you at your command. You don't have to get somebody to do it for you. All right. And I was just on there and actually having uh, some incredible stimulation. I really like it. Brad. This is a family show. Come on, it? that's true. I was feeling very, very All good. right, let's get to your program here, Okay, Brad. good. Uh, so this study took 60 people, and they divided into three groups to figure out uh, what was going to work better. Uh, they did a conventional PT uh, Conventional treatment. physical therapy. Right. So, so they sent them to a physical therapist. Yep, three times a week. They do ultrasound, phonophoresis, uh, some manual therapy along with some exercises. Uh, the second group just did guided exercises, similar to the way we have exercises on our YouTube channel. Sure. Uh, or you can go to a therapist and get specific exercises and then go home, do them daily. Uh, and that was the second group. Okay. And the third group was a functional shoulder brace. All right. Which, as Bob and I were talking before, they don't really make a very practical functional shoulder brace. Yeah, they never fit right. It, they're hard to get on. They're yeah. elastic and they get a, it usually takes a two people to get them on and they're not very comfortable throughout the day. However, uh, this study showed they, a follow-up after six to 12 weeks, there was no statistical uh, difference between any of the groups. So they all worked. They all were successful uh, as far as uh, comparing one to the other. And what were they trying to do here, Brad? They were trying to... Well, the two exercise program, or the, the therapist one and the, the home, home exercise program, program the, the primary goal was to reduce or dec or take the humeral head and depress it, right. which is very, very, most all therapists do that because that reduces the impingement. Yeah, you have a ball and a socket, basically. And the ball, if it's too high, riding too high up yeah. or too anterior or too forward, it's going to pinch that tendon. So we're trying to get that ball to depress. Open and, the gap. Yep, open the gap. And these exercises we show you today, that's what's going to help you do that, accomplish that. Right, exactly. Um, so there's nothing new about that. That's been accepted for, for many years, and it just makes mechanics. And we sense. have anecdotally, which I think that word is acceptable, isn't it, in your mind, Brad? Oh, absolutely. I uh, concur. We have anecdotally seen this quite often in our patients that it's worked quite well right. with a lot of and a lot of uh, our subscribers. Exactly. So let's get to it, Brad. Right. So we've got four exercises that are going to help bring that humeral head down, open the gap up, and uh, try to eliminate or reduce the impingement. So the first one, we're going to go with the old school of the proven exercises of resistance. 
uh, exercise doing resistant tubing or tubing resistant bands. And, yeah, we're going to use some tubing. Uh, and you need a place to hook it up to where you can have maybe someone at home hold on to it if they're brave enough. It really works well. Uh, we use the wall anchors because they work so well. You, you can hook it up to a door or eye bolt or something on right. the wall. Um, but the first one, and this exercise I learned in school, and I still use it today, and I think exactly. pretty much all therapists, is external rotation with the elbow at 90 degrees by your ribs and simply get the the resistance right so that you can go out like this and this strengthens that posterior rotator cuff muscles which is going to help depress the humeral head etc so sometimes people will put a little towel there yep. a washcloth yep. to make sure you're keeping the arm in we do this in golf by the way too do you know oh really that? yeah oh well, my goodness so yeah. maybe that's good for the humeral head that's right but if that towel drops down that means your elbow got too far away from your ribs so if the elbow the, if the towel stays in there you know you're doing it right yeah the flying yep. elbow there common mistakes are people going like this or like yeah this. you got to keep the right angle yep so we're going to do 10 of these and i already can feel this muscle back here fatiguing and then you're going to follow it up with the second exercise and this is where you need uh two Double. handles and I'm yeah. going to go back like this. And what I always tell my patients is bring their hands down like they're going to put them in their pocket. And think about bringing your shoulder blades down. So squeezing his shoulder yep. blades together. And, yeah, he's trying to take the point of them and point them, put them down in his pockets. Right. And that what that does is it gets the proper muscles, the rotator cuff muscles, and the, and the shoulder girdle all works together. So we want to get them all. These two exercises really do a nice job of getting that is that uh, humeral head down where it should be. And we do 10 of those, and then I'll go back to 10 of these. I'm not gonna do them all to bore you. And then I'll, the goal is three sets of 10. This would be my second set of 10. And when you start out, you may not be able to do three sets of 10. One or two sets is fine. Um, now we're gonna show you a couple other exercises. Now, here's one that you can do at home without any equipment. You just need a chair sure. or a countertop. Yep. Uh, what, again, we're trying to do is depress the humeral head. I'll show you on this arm here. So what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and walk up to the counter or the chair, and you're going to push down. So if the if the chair wasn't here, I'd be pushing kind of down and right, back. Right towards your knee. Yeah, right my, yeah there, that's a good way to point it out. All right, so I'm going to push down, and I'm, I'm going to push down as I walk away. Sure. This is a Brian Mulligan technique. And I, I'm pushing down the entire time. You can see my arm shaking a little bit even there. So when he's pushing down, that helps depress or get that humeral head and open up that uh, gap, making the impingement less. What's nice about this one is you can do it throughout the day. Sure. You know, so you can do it every hour if you right. want. And you can do it at work. Typically, yeah. you know, it take 20 seconds out to do it a few times. A lot of times what I'll see with people is that if they do it this way without pushing down, it'll actually hurt because mm -hmm. they aren't depressing the, the humor head. Right. So then they push down and they can actually see a difference. Right. You want me to hold the chair by? Yeah. And you can go as far as it'll allow. If, if it'll allow you to go this far, go that far. Right. So it, Yeah. If it starts to get real painful up there, that's too far. You just go up to the pain and back off. And as it improves, it'll you'll be able to go further. Now you can also do it with the booyah stick or any, like you could take a broomstick. Yeah, broom and handle, yes. yeah. whatever whatever you can get that's about five foot tall and that won't slip around on the floor. And we're gonna do the same thing. It's like pushing down this way, okay? And the, the nice thing about this is you can try it this way, walk, or just lean forward, which does kind of the same sure. thing, or walk backwards. And down, and I'm pushing down into that stick. You, you know, you get the lats. Well, another over. variation, Brad, would be the, your Statue of Liberty. Oh, sure. So Brad calls this the Statue of Liberty. So you take the booyah stick, you put it on the chair right beside you, yep. and you just lean forward. This really puts a nice torque on there, Brad. This is like the hanging exercise. Right. And Technically, I don't know if we're depress depressing the head, but we've had good success I thought it. that we were we're stretching out the capsule so it can de depress oh, easier. You, you know go. what I mean? That's my theory. Right. These are all theory. We, we don't really know what's going on well, in the shoulder. Yeah, these last two particularly, but we've now, had good I know, agree success. with both of these two. I think we're stretching the capsule so the humeral head can depress more. Sure. 
It you worked. Can, you can do this on seated or standing, like I'm. We're yep. doing the same thing. And this worked wonders with mine. I mean, this th these were the magic ones with me. Sure. I'm just gonna say. Now, if you've got a really severe case of uh, impingement where you can hardly lift your arm up, you you might these may be a little too early. Um, but if you've got one of those impingement cases where it's nagging you and you're you're kind of functioning throughout the day, that this is ideal for. I for agree, those. and that's where mine was. It yeah. was hurting all day long. But it wasn't severe. Right. You could a, still kind of reach into the cupboard, maybe help with the other hand or whatever. So you were going to make a wife joke, weren't you, about nagging? I could tell you were, but <laughs> no, I, I, I was smart enough nope, not to even go I'm there. I'm going to keep it clear. <laughs> oh, okay. you do the chicken wing. Okay, we're going to do the chicken wing, too. So now I, I'm stretching this one. Okay. Yep, that's This the one is shoulder. palm away. Palm away. Yep. This one is palm forward. And you bring it up a ways. And then you bend it out like this. Not and too aggressive, though. Be gentle. Yeah, pressure on, pressure off. Again, we're stretching out the capsule, which we hope is going to give more room for the humeral head. That, that's my theory. I'm sticking with it. So, But, you know, in practice, it has worked. Yeah. I mean, as far as, you know, in real world. It, it has worked for me. This so, one, sometimes, depending on your flexibility, some people may have a hard time reaching back. Yeah, you might not even be able to do this one to start off yeah, with. If that's the case, uh, you know, go to the to the other ones we worked on. Uh, also note, yeah, because you might even just start by doing this. Yeah. But also but, note, this is not hitting my head. I'm going off to the side here. Yeah. So, yeah. all right. I You know, I think it's nice that we have science behind this, Brad, because, you know, uh, it's not we're just shooting from the – it's a hip here. Yeah, we should get some science behind that broken heart. Yeah, thing. that's right. Brad and I can fix just about anything except for a broken heart. But we are working on that. Go booyah together right in front of the heart. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do that again. I got another way to do it. All right. The underground over the top. All right. That's going to work. Always showing off, isn't he? Thanks for watching.